What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, brokers, and investors grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. So I did another video, Realtor Hits Rock Bottom, you might wanna check that out. But in that video, I was talking about when the market crashed, the sacrifices that I needed to make, and one of them was, um, you know, liquidating my real estate and living as cheap as possible. So I actually decided to live in my office. Now the office uh, we actually purchased and I'm gonna bring you through it today because the tenants actually just left and uh, we gotta get it released out. And I wanna bring you guys in to show you exactly how I was living for several months um, in order to keep my expenses extremely low when the market crashed so we can really rebuild our real estate business and, and thrive instead of uh, going out of business like a lot of real estate agents did in the past. So let's go check it out. So back in 2006, we bought in this place. It's a little uh, office condo, and um, we paid a lot of money for it, but you know, eventually we got it paid off, and um, we had to uh, grow into a larger office because the amount of real estate agents we were bringing on, so we decided to turn this into an investment property and rent it out. As mentioned, we bought this little office. Let me just give you a quick tour of it. So we got like a little reception area here, little workstation area, little half bathroom. We got two offices back here, little kitchen area. And upstairs was my office. Let me bring you up here. Pretty simple little area, but this is where we actually had a futon couch. And that futon eventually became my primary bed for I want to say six or seven months. Now when the market crashed, as that uh, previous video on Realtor hit rock bottom, and we want to make sure that we were reducing our personal overhead as low as possible because we knew that we were coming into really tough times. And um, in doing so, you know, we liquidated everything and I made the conscious decision to really sacrifice and I know it may, may sound kind of extreme, but at the time, you know, I didn't have much responsibility and, um, you know, I figured this was just extra space and I can get by. So that little half bathroom that I showed you downstairs is, you know, it, you know just a half bathroom. So. What I did was I signed up at the local gym over at Gold's Gym, basically across the street, and I would work out there and that would be my main place where I would shower and get cleaned up. Um, having the futon bed, it wasn't that bad. It, you know, it, it humbles you for sure. And then downstairs we had a uh, wall-mounted uh, television down there and we had cable and everything. I had internet, so I pretty much had everything. We got the little kitchenette downstairs. And at the time, we didn't have any other real estate agents. It was just my sister and I, so it wasn't like we had other real estate agents using this space at that time until we started to grow our real estate organization and started recruiting. Um, you know, it really didn't matter that I was actually, quote unquote, living here. Um, but I'll tell you, every time I come back into this place, every time, I, uh, I get that same feeling, you know, of, reflection reflecting back on where where we were when the market crashed and um and truly how difficult it was but at the same time it was i had so much fun with it i i lived more free than i ever have before living in this spot i felt that sense of freedom because my overhead was virtually nothing and um 
you know, and I was coming from, you know, a, a condo, high rise condo on the, on the water with a boat, boat dock, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, my personal overhead was like five or six thousand dollars a month. And, you know, virtually overnight, I went from that to, you know, less than five hundred dollars a month. And, you know, I was able to stack away money, you know, living for under five hundred dollars a month. You can virtually do whatever you want. And being able to stack money quickly was was it, it happened incredibly fast, so fast that. I stacked enough cash to actually buy another condo free and clear. It was a really small condo, uh, under 30,000 bucks. So I think one of the main reasons why I made this video today is more for reflection. You know, again, the tenants just moved out of here and every time I come into this place, it, it's special in my heart. And it immediately, every time I walk into this place, I reflect on where we were, what, what position we were in when the market crashed. And I encourage you guys to do the same. Reflect on where you're at in your life or reflect on what has happened in your past and where you were back then 10 years ago, 20 years ago and where you're at today. And when you do a lot of reflection on a regular basis, it, it humbles you, it puts things into perspective and it's gratifying as well. So I encourage you to do the same thing and, and reflect on it and heck, make a video about it as well. Hey, make sure you subscribe and like this video because I don't want to live in an office again. <laughs>